coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. Sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A Sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? Asim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you. But his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know. Asim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. You made that go away. I like a sim. He's pretty smart. Sorry if it seems weird to bring it up. Now that we're safe again, it just made me think of it. You made that go away. Huh. Well, I wouldn't call any of what's happened safe. I guess not, but think of it this way. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead... We fought back, because you showed us how. You made that go away. As bad as Marlon was, he still saved me and AJ. And you nursed me back to health. We owed you for that. Maybe, but even so. You made that go away. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just hiding. Huh? <gasps> You're not dead. That's good. Did everyone else escape? Damn right. They took that cart and hauled ass back to the school. But you came to look for us. Never would have forgiven myself if I didn't. Did everyone else escape? Damn right. They took that cart and hauled ass back to the school. But you came to look for us. Thought I lost you. Only for a minute. Longest damn minute of my life. <sighs> it's over, Clem. The Raiders are gone, and... We got everyone out alive. Ruby said Violet's eyes aren't infected, so that's good, too. They'll all be waiting for us back home. Any idea which way that is? I haven't been out here in a while, but I think there's a bridge. That way. It's the fastest way back. Let's go.
How's the hand? It hurts like hell, but it could have been a lot worse. It'll be weird at first. You look at your hand and get a little shock when your finger's not there. But that goes away. I'd ask you to pinky promise, but, uh, yeah. I killed that woman back on the boat. Was that your first? Yeah, my first. It feels like bile, but not quite, you know? Or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not. You have a tendency to beat yourself up, Lewis. But don't do it now, because you did great back there. I don't know if great is the right word, but having a home means defending it. Yeah, yeah, it does. Or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not. Let's get out of this first, okay? There'll be plenty of time to talk about it when we get home. I don't think I'll have to. And I'm done kicking things down the road. Having a home means defending it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not. It'll get easier. I promise. You know what? It's fucked up, but I know it will. I'm just glad to know I have it in me. At all. Having a home means defending it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not. I'm just glad to know I have it in me. At all. Having a home means defending it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I really thought we were gonna die on that boat. The dumbest shit always goes through my head when that happens. My old pet turtle, Jeff. My grandma's phone number. The word that lost me the fourth grade spelling bee. Recommend. Stupid shit. Anything new this time? Before my parents divorced, they were building a house. And I begged my dad to put in a skylight. Begged. Please, if you love me, you'll do it. That shit definitely didn't work. So we made a deal. I got straight A's, he'd put in a skylight. And you remembered the skylight just now? They never got to build the house. I don't even know what color it was gonna be. I should have asked. Sure should have. You know what? I hope it was purple. Is that your favorite color? No, but you don't see a lot of purple houses. Why not stand out? <laughs> of course you'd say that. Of course. Well, what color did you hope it was? Oh. Uh, well, maybe purple. Is that your favorite color? No, but you don't see a lot of purple houses. Why not stand out? <laughs> of course you'd say that. Of course. I hope it was really, really, really bright yellow. Oh my god, why? Because then, it'd be loud and obnoxious, just like you. I accept this. You know what? I'll bet it was white, like my house. You lived in a white house? Yup. But not THE white house, right? Uh, no. Just checking. You never know. Maybe it was gonna be pink. Pink? What, too girly for you? Did I say that? I did not say that. I'd love to live in a pink house. Okay, I'm starting to visualize the place. How many floors? Even number? Odd? How many?
<laughs> you gotta have at least three. You gotta, huh? Walkers hate stairs. The more floors, the better. <laughs> Fair. I call the attic. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Up to you, Lou. How many floors do you want? Hmm. Four. First floor, giant swimming pool. Second floor, combination pizza parlor and movie theater. Third floor, beds, bathrooms, all that crap. Fourth floor, entrance to giant water slide that goes down to the first floor swimming pool. Done. Done. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Let's go with four. Here's the breakdown. First floor, giant swimming pool. Second floor, combination pizza parlor and movie theater. Third floor, beds, bathrooms, all that crap. Fourth floor, entrance to giant water slide that goes down to the first floor swimming pool. Done. Done. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Um, 914. That's outrageous. Yeah. I love it. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. You only really need one. I grew up in a two-story house, and you get tired of stairs pretty quick. Single floor it is. I always saw myself a pretty down-to-earth guy anyway. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Give me a last flourish, though. One thing to really bring it all together. Come on. The coup de grace. The insert other French phrase here. What's it gonna be? A treehouse. Duh. Hell yeah, fucking treehouse. What's it gonna be? I think a statue of me might be a nice addition. Couldn't agree more. I'll try to keep the pigeons off it. What's it gonna be? How are your grades? They would have been straight A's. Then it looks like we're putting in a skylight. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you're welcome, weirdo. What's it gonna be? My grades would have been straight A's. I earned a goddamn skylight. And then you're getting a goddamn skylight. What's it gonna be? You're creative. Be creative. A brand new piano. Mahogany, the color of leaves in autumn. Unbreakable and always in tune. Yeah, you can teach AJ to play. And you, too, if you want. We get back to the school, we are building that house. You really think we can? Maybe not all 900 floors. And 14. And 14. But I really hope we can. Can I help? Of course you can. You're in charge of painting. Come on. We got a home to build. <laughs> 